well, well, well. So it has been a while, yeah. And um, yeah, Courtney and I are gonna be parents. It's really happening. I'm excited, she's excited. We got some good news uh, regarding pregnancy today as we didn't get quite the greatest news about a month or two ago. It was the second, uh, yeah, the second ultrasound. They found out the baby has a cystic hygroma, which is pretty much just a little bit of extra fluid. It was in her neck, around her neck, and in her back, around her, near her spine. Today, they only saw it in her neck. And then it's not as much as it was. The big thing about cystic hygromas is that they're usually tied to some sort of chromosomal anomaly. Blah, blah, blah. I can never say it right. Chromosomal anomaly, uh, which means that there's either an extra chromosome or a missing chromosome. And we got test back, test results back today, and there are no extra or missing chromosomes, which means that she definitely does not have Down syndrome or Turner syndrome or, uh, you know, trisomy 13 and blah, 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 which is extremely relieving. And now we're just waiting for the overall test results. Uh, you know, the micro exam on each individual chromosome in and of itself uh, to see if there's anything else they can probably find. Because, you know, cystic hygromas are usually attached or associated with something serious like that. But uh, it's not as extreme as, you know, any of the four major ones, trisomy 13, trisomy 18, Down syndrome, Turner syndrome. Uh, so we're good on that. We'll, we just have to keep our uh, fingers, legs, and arms and toes crossed uh, and hoping that everything else is okay. But yeah, it is a baby girl uh, confirmed today. Her name is Gianna. We've been going back and forth with like 17 different names the past two, three months. We've settled on Gianna Simone and I came up with that one. Her due date is about four dates, actually, or three. The one that we came up with is September 18th. The ones that doctors have come up with is September 14th and 15th. Nobody knows for sure. And considering that the baby is like a week or two ahead of her development, in the sense that she's growing really, really fast because both her parents are huge and they were huge when they were born, she might be born a week or two early. I was two weeks late. My sister and I were supposed to have the same birthday, but we didn't. And I refused to do that because I don't want to share. Our baby might be early, but we'll see. Anyway, regarding the vlogs, yeah, I know I haven't been vlogging at all or much or whatever in the past few months or so, mostly because of this. And of course, because of other things like personal stuff, like I just, we haven't really had the drive to vlog. And we've been going back and forth over some things that would kind of make the vlog seem a bit dry or uh, like staged a little bit because we didn't want to kind of like have that fake vibey thing on our vlog like some couples do on their YouTube vlogs and stuff. More so, it kind of just happened that way, you know, by happenstance, we just weren't vlogging. Yes, we've gone out, we've done things, we've talked, we've cleared some stuff up, we've been hanging out, we've been relaxing, chilling, maxing, all cool, shooting b-ball outside of the school, and then, you know, just haven't really cared about the vlog, we've been focusing on ourselves, because I think this is, this is an important time uh, to iron out the kinks uh, I mean, for anyone, when you're having a baby, I think it's it's very important to iron out that kind of silly stuff in your relationship before the baby comes, because when the baby comes, it's not about you or your significant other, it's about that baby. So, uh, we've been doing that, and we may start up doing uh, weekly vlogs, uh, as, like, as opposed to daily vlogging. We both work every day, and it's, it's tough trying to get content that's interesting when you work every day every week so i think we're gonna do weekly and you know just make a compilation of you know the interesting stuff that happens uh during the week and i think that that is probably the best thing that we can do so we might do that obviously you'll see that on the channel here once we start uploading stuff again i just wanted to put this up so you guys knew what was up we made our big announcement on easter this past sunday everyone's excited i am excited she's excited family's excited friends are excited you know the relevant people of the family are excited <laughs> the relevant friends are excited so you know we have all, this, all of the support we need it's really cold outside i think i want to go back in the house because uh, this deck, this porch, it's, uh, it's 
little chilly out. It was warm the past few days, but now it's just, I don't know, we're just going right back down to where we were two and a half weeks ago, where the weather wouldn't go past 45, and we all thought it was gonna snow again. But, you know, Connecticut tends to do that weird kind of shit every now and then, so we're gonna hope and pray that, you know, that that doesn't happen. It just stays like this as the worst, and then just gets warmer, because that would be great. We also have a vacation coming up in June. I won't tell you when or where we're going, but you guys have been there before on my vlog uh, plenty of times. And that should be pretty, pretty dope because we don't really have a plan. We're just gonna go and you know figure shit out as we get there, I guess. <laughs> Do know that Waffle House is in the agenda. Even though there's no agenda, Waffle House is in that mug. Trust me. Thank you guys for watching this far. Thank you for your support also. Uh, for the vlog, your subscriptions, your comments, your likes, your shares, and all that kind of stuff. Be on the lookout for more stuff. I am very excited overall, and um, I, I hope you guys share that excitement with me. Or, I can share that excitement with you guys through the vlog, through my Facebook posts, Snapchat. Uh, I'm not really tweeting about it because I don't really care for Twitter as much. Instagram, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So, see you guys in the next video, or, you know at work or at school or downtown or wherever I happen to run into a lot of you guys. I probably won't ever be recording like this again because I'm sitting Indian style on the floor on my deck and it hurts and uh, I don't I don't like this feeling. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get warm and uh, we'll see ya. Courtney's at work, that's why she's not here with me, but yeah, she just left for work for the real time this time. See you guys. Take care. <laughs>